this is making you feel a nice thing. Um, I've just had <coughs> my bit of dough, postman just been. I've um, got a few parcels there to open up. Um, I've got a fair idea what's in them. And that should be an individual. That's a lot of six for the car that I've been after for quite some time, I think. So that one. And I'm going to start with this one. Yeah, I've done one of these. Yep. There we go, this is the um Johnny Lightning customizing kit. It's the 923 Ford bucket. And in here there's enough parts to build two Ford T buckets. We've got the, the instructions on the back. Version A, version B, um, the parts list, and that's the other ones that are available. And this was an eBay purchase again. Looks awesome. I will do a video of this and um, assembling it. I'm going to open it up and build them. That one's pretty cool. Cost me eight pound. Um, I don't know if that's the right kind of price for it or not, but it was cool, so I had to get it. So yeah, there we go. See your bodies there. The hood for one of them. <coughs> Only seems to be one interior though. Um, and from when you look at the image, it looks like on this one, there's no interior inside it. So we'll see how that looks. Um, your engines. There's your wheels. Got your trims there. And various other parts. That's pretty cool. Good year tyres. So yeah, that's going to be fun to do. And I will do a video. Popping that together. So yeah, that's that one. Um, and next we'll get into this one. I'm not sure what space I've got on my phone here, so I might end up, this might end up cutting, or the battery may even end up going. sealed in. Might take me a video just to get into this. the car right inside. <coughs> and this one is a Ford Escort and um, Corgi Juniors Whiz Wheels. So got some roll to it. The windows looking fairly nice. This is awesome. Um, the reason for picking this one up I saw um, I'm gonna count five videos. You got one of these, and as soon as I saw it, I thought that was it. I need to find myself one of them. Nice. Awesome. Condition's not too bad, I believe. You should have stickers. There were some on there that were selling for about £10 each. Um, 
condition. Not too far from this, but they did have stickers on them. I don't know if they did a release with stickers and some without. Um, I've seen one in a lot as well, which um, was red. But that's awesome. Um, <coughs> so just alongside it with the Hot Wheels. Looks very cool. Scaling's very similar. Obviously this one's got the square lights. Whereas the Hot Wheels has got the round. But yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, I am very tempted to strip it and give it a fresh coat of blue. And then get all this polished up on the front. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And the next box is here. Um, this was aiming for one main car that was in the lot, which I've been after for a while. If this is the one I think it is, um, from the Little Wheels Museum, eBay. Nice and neatly packed. And a bit easier to get into. <coughs> so we'll start off in here. We have an old metal base, metal body. This is marked up in 1999 and this is a Ferrari 365 GTR and that's apart from a couple of little flea bites there condition that's absolutely spot on that's cool I like that one Next up, we have the one M McDonald's Hot Wheels. I mean, this this cost me. This was a ninety nine pence bid, and I think what it is is because <coughs> the advertising was, you know, Hot Wheels lot, and you see all these cars sat there, and people aren't interested. They don't pay much attention to it. But then, if you if you look carefully. Here we have, see, there's no real interest for these. Um, this is a RDO3, I have no interest in it. We do have a logo on there, is this a treasure hunt? Is that a regular? It's got a little flame logo on the bonnet, I'm not sure. Um, and people don't pay much attention to them. But if you if you care if you look carefully at a lot sometimes you'll see something sat in the back of the picture, which is pretty cool. Um, this is awesome. Not sure how these actually work from there. Yeah, this is like a modern version of your crash ups. And um, your crack ups even so. And this was called I think these were called crashes. I've got one that's a bit more B-open than this. This one's in quite nice condition. A few bits knocks on the front. Basically what happens is it's going to get knocked from the back and cause the guy to flip out the roof there and for the bonnet to lift. That's pretty nice. It's a nice car as well. It's got some nice details on that car. That's pretty cool. But the main one I was looking for, which I've looked first for on eBay before, wasn't willing to pay the prices it's been going for on its own is the Turismo and that's cool it's nice to nice to get my hands on one of these uh, I think I first saw one of these on a the video I think it might have been um, PJ's video and did a little bit of looking into it and mainly because I'm such a Del big DeLorean fan the fact that this was from the original DeLorean. Um, I believe 
believe it was a case of they'd already tooled up the cast for it and then DeLorean pulled out and said they, they couldn't use it so they basically just altered it a little bit um, just to take it away enough from copying the DeLorean but obviously you can still see the lightnesses and obviously we've got the new one where they basically use the same kind of tempo design So that's pretty cool. Um, condition wise, not too bad. Especially you know, when you consider the age of it. Um, wheels are in nice condition. Rolls nice. And as I say, the um, you see them going on their own for like £10. And that's, that's when they do appear on eBay. But this lot cost me 99 pence. This one was just sat tucked at the back corner of the picture. And it's all about just looking carefully. Um, when I go on eBay, all I, all I basically do is I'll just search lot and then just change, refine the search for diecast and it can bring up all kinds of stuff because not everyone puts the proper descriptions on and that's what it is, it's just, it's just being lucky enough to find something. Um, not everyone lists them as they should be. Really happy to find that one. So they were they were my main ones I was going for there. I forget what this one cost. I think this one cost me about three pound. It came to about five with shipping. And um, so yeah, that's it for these for this lot. There we go. And as always, I'll say thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.